lot of us are staying home a lot and um, we we may want to have adventures and what we may not realize is that we have adventures waiting for us in our own yards as long as we have a little bit of moss and such to uh, take samples of. That's why I have a small container here. If you want to try this, any container will do. A little bit of water in it, razor blade for scraping moss off of things. Uh, what we are looking for today is uh, tardigrades and rotifers. We may find some other things too, but those are my favorites. Uh, those, they're tardigrade and rotifer, both. Um, those are different phylums of tiny animals that are really good at surviving. And they're very cute, I think, and very interesting. So we will explore some of those. But first we need to, um, they're like, like little instant yard friends. So I'm gonna scrape some off out of this moss here where I've had good luck finding them in the past. Chances of getting something interesting in there. It's been raining recently, so it may not take them as long to wake up as usual, but all right. We're gonna let these guys rehydrate and see what we get in a while. Okay, here we are in the house with our yard friends, our instant yard friends. This thing has been now rehydrating for about maybe 15 minutes or so, um, so hopefully we get some little guys in there. Just take a small dropper and try to get some of the, uh, the stuff in here. Let's see. It, it's better if it has a bunch of chunks in it, but not too many. And then just put it on the slide like this. You may need to actually absorb some of the water back so you get more critter to uh, water ratio. So I just take this little, try to keep a paper towel like this here. And then I have a little bit to look at. something that might be one that's I'll, I'll put I'll put the camera on the scope once I actually find something what I'm looking for is basically any kind of movement or anything that's a familiar shape I'm not seeing a heck of a lot right here so we will try again in a little bit all right here we go here's a little rotifer these are usually the first ones to wake up that that is the thing that's moving and kind of uh elongating and recompressing itself as it looks for, for snacks amidst the mossy stuff. But yeah, rotifers are really cool. This is, I believe it's a Videloid rotifer. I'm not really good at pronunciations, but um, yeah, I one thing really neat about these little guys is that they, I believe they're either mostly or all um, asexual reproducers, but they in some ways achieve genetic variation by taking in DNA from things in their environment, even including things like plants, which is just super cool. So yeah, here's our first uh, little creature that woke up. So we'll see if we can find a tardigrade next. But yeah, this is, this is super cool. And here's our little tardigrade with eyes, or rather photoreceptors. Each of its little photoreceptors is a single cell for light detection. And you can see his little claws moving too. That is so cool. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this excursion into the tiny universe of the yard. Thank you for watching and listening.